welcome to the channel. So this is our first ever episode for YouTube. We've banked so much from this move down. Do those losses matter? Not at all. What are we gonna be talking about in this episode? Well, essentially, I thought this would be a great opportunity to talk about you know, a bit of psychology and probabilities, as probabilities play such a big part of the psychological game. Some of the most successful traders I know within the community, they're always still learning. So the moment that you're just open with these principles that, oh, maybe there's an extra tweak that I can make, there might not be that tweak, but it's just being open to that information is what is going to make you a more neutral and better trader. Hey guys, so today is the very first Amsterdam meetup. I'm really excited for this one today. It's going to be awesome. And like I said, if you want to follow along behind the scenes, meet some people in the community, it's going to be incredible. Hope you enjoy it. You're not aiming to be robots, so that's the thing, you know. Even doing what I do now, but the, because there's so much emotion involved, is what I love about it. Like, yeah. because we've revamped the foundation series, yeah. we put so much effort into that, it's going to be incredible. Yeah. The whole course is completely redone. So if I wasn't excited and emotional involved in it, I wouldn't put the passion involved. So I think this aim to want to be a robot, people often say, how can I remove emotion from the market? And I almost want to shake that person yeah. that you're focusing on the wrong goal. You'll, you'll never fully remove emotion. You can reduce it and you can manage your mind, but that's about it. Yeah. I can't believe we're in December already. This year has absolutely flown by. Starting to get a little bit colder, festive period, the leaves are falling off the trees. This month is really about two things. It's about reflection and preparation. So if you can reflect on the year and prepare for what's to come, you'll realize how much momentum we can take into 2020. I'm very, very excited tonight. Myself and the team, we're just setting up at the moment and everybody will be arriving soon and we'll show behind the scenes. I know, mate. It's um, how quick has that gone by as well? It's flying by. Mate. Is it literally so so quick? I was literally thinking about it the other day. It's like these milestones. When you set out to do something like this, when you want to create a channel, like mm. you don't think about. It's not even about the numbers. Like it's a no, like, don't get me wrong. It's a lovely milestone. Yeah. You know, you've impacted fifty thousand people. Yes. But but the the most important thing of that is knowing that people on the other end of that, they get to tune into something where it feels like it's their home. Yeah. That. Like, you don't know, they could be sitting there on a Sunday, it could be part of their routine, it could be a place where maybe they're from a place where they, don't, they can't afford education, for example. Yeah. And it's a place where they're getting enough tips that they feel like they're growing, they're motivated. Maybe it's an act of inspiration. Yeah. Maybe they feel like they're getting that mentoring from almost a distance, if you like. like yeah. Things like that was, was so important going into this channel, this project yeah. from the first place, to give people a glimpse into what Falcon stands for, what, what it is. Mm. And it just goes to show you, like, things that... Things stand the test of time when you do them in the right way. And the same way I've approached trading in my, my life over so many years is exactly how I set out to the channel when we, when we started it together from the start, right? Yeah. It's, uh, it's madness to see it, but when you have pure, pure intentions from the very beginning, like this is going to be a channel that people come there as the hub, mindset, technicals, whatever it may be, yeah. that they can feel at home. Like yeah. that yeah. is, that's the key. The that's, that's what it is. And, I can't wait for what, what's next. Next, next 50K, yeah. road to 100K. Yes. <laughs> What's going on guys and girls? Welcome back to another episode on the Falcon YouTube channel. Hope you're doing very well. Thank you so much for tuning into the content on a regular basis. Speaking of that, you may have seen recently, we have just hit a milestone of 50,000 on the channel. Super excited for that and feeling super humbled and grateful for all of your love and support on a consistent basis. Remember guys and girls, everybody starts from zero. And this kind of took us back down memory lane of starting the channel from the very beginning, seeing how much growth that we've actually made it has been phenomenal. We wanted to take this opportunity to say a big thank you to you all, everybody that has commented, liked, subscribed, tuned in, shared it with their friends. 
just even attending the lives on a regular basis. Like we see you there and we really do appreciate it, which is what keeps us going, what makes us put in all the time and effort to create these videos for you. When we started this channel, the aim was to create a channel that is gonna be there for you, both technically, mindset, and also other things, tips, hacks, resources, all of these things to assist you on your trading journey. Essentially a home, a home for you that you can tune in thinking, right, there's another episode out. What's it gonna be? How am I gonna take value from it? Somewhere where you can tune into that you can make sure that you're constantly growing, whether it's accountability, whether it's just a place for you to check in. That was the goal of the channel. So to see that we've hit 50,000 already in such a short space of time, honestly, couldn't be more grateful for the support you guys have given us on a regular basis. So we just wanted to say that, and it's a nice little milestone for us. Our goal for this channel far exceeds any of that. It's not even about the numbers. There's so much more to that, such a bigger vision to that, but it's such a nice feeling to know that 50,000, the impact is real, and we're gonna continue to keep on pushing. So we have some very, very exciting things in the works that you will see for the remainder of this year. So we appreciate all of the kind words as always, and make sure really quickly on this video, if you have taken value from this channel and you have, Im have been impacted on this channel over the years, make sure that if you're not, that you are subscribed so you're in the loop. And when we're bringing out more exciting content, you know exactly at the right time that it may be serving you. So we really appreciate that, guys. And also, if there's any particular content that's on your mind, something that you think that you might wanna see more of, please take the time and effort on this video, chuck it in the comments. Maybe something about technicals, maybe something about mindset or psychology, about routines lifestyle, whatever it may be. If you have something on your mind that you would love to see, make sure you leave a detailed comment below in this video. And speaking of that, I've got a really, really important message that I wanna share with you guys. Right, traders, listen up. I wanna to talk to you about something that I think you all need to hear, especially those that you have these big, big trading goals that you wanna achieve. At the forefront of all of it, patience, persistence, and knowing why you're doing what you're doing is at the core going to serve you in this trading game. And let me tell you why. Look, we've just hit a milestone on the channel 50K, which is phenomenal. Why has that happened? It's happened because persistence, patience, we're looking at the bigger picture. We're literally scratching the surface as to what we want to do for the channel. Why? Because we know why we wanted to do this in the first place. We didn't set out at zero to think, right, we need to hit this number. We need to do this. No, it wasn't about that. It was about how do we provide value in all areas? How do we create almost like a little home for people that can tune into the channel on a regular basis to feel motivated, inspired, take tips, hacks, resources, you name it, to guide you in the right way. And I know at, at the best of times, not always the most attractive answer that you wanna hear, however, it's the right answer. And we know that being true to that and authentic to that is gonna help you in the long run. In this industry, everyone wants to talk a big game, but their actions don't match their words, right? They don't actually do what they said they was going to do. And you might have even fallen in the trap, so I'm talking directly to you, right? You may have even fallen into that trap where you're not doing what you said you was going to do. So you have all these big goals. And I mean, you ask people all the time, why do you want to do this in the first place? Like, what is it that you're looking to get out of it? Because trading's not easy. Like anything that you want to build isn't easy. It requires patience. And it requires you sometimes not focusing on the actual thing itself, but focusing on things outside of the field. And then as a side effect, those goals manifest and they get achieved. So when you ask people, it's like, is your behavior matching your actions is the behavior matching your words because then you'll ask a trader where are your goals you know you've got some big goals you want to achieve some big things it's like yeah i want to i want to achieve six figures or i want to achieve seven figures i want to be a full-time trader i want multiple sources of income and then you ask them where are your goals it's like do you have any do you have any goals written down it's like no i've, I've got them but like, where are they are oh, they in my head well they'll probably stay in your head the reality is if you don't put pen to paper, you don't start writing these things out, if you don't plan out your life in excruciating detail, it will not happen for you. I can assure you that. You might get some results and you will get to a certain level of results. I'm not saying if you don't put your pen to paper, you'll never achieve anything. Some people are naturally ambitious and motivated and you will get things done. However, there'll be a limit and there'll be a block and you need to make sure that your words that you use match your day-to-day -day behavior. If your goal is like, right, I wanna be a successful trader, 
And I, and I deeply feel that this is my goal, this is my why, because I want financial freedom. I wanna be able to trade full time. I wanna be able to do what I want, where I want, with whoever I want. Do your actions day to day match that? And I don't mean just every now and again you feel inspired and motivated and then you fall off track. Does your behavior and your actions match that? Yet we're walking around with the audacity to feel entitled to results. It is crazy. The amount of people that I speak to are over the years where they feel entitled to some level of growth and results and funded accounts and you name it, the list goes on, yet they don't even have goals written down or they've just got a few written on a bit of scrap bit of paper that they don't even take seriously. And then you see it's not specific, it's not detailed, it's like, I want to trade full time. That's like saying, I want to go to the gym. Like, it's not gonna happen. Like, you're just saying it's so vague. I'm saying this because you need to hear it. This is not like a nice thing. We're not, this channel is not just about what you wanna hear all the time. There's going to be stuff that, yes, it's motivational, these type of things that's gonna inspire you. And I, and I want you to gain inspiration from this channel. Believe you me. However, but what I also want you to gain is what you need to hear. And I'm telling you this direct, you need to hear this. If you do not take your life seriously, if you can't show someone your list of goals in excruciating detail as to what you wanna achieve inside of trading and outside of trading, it will not happen for you. So the point I want to make from this, guys, is that make sure that your behavior and your actions match your words. And when you can create, you can bridge that gap and there is congruency throughout, good things just start to happen. See, I can only speak from my experience. And what I found that every single time that I've hit a new level, I've raised the bar, it's always been a side effect of becoming more intentional, more detailed, and just more clear on the bigger vision. And realizing that, am I being lazy, or am I really putting in the work? People like to think and fantasize over, yeah, I've done a lot of hours, and they feel entitled to a break, and all these different things. However, they've not put even remotely the level of focus, laser focus work, productive work, into trading. But all it comes down to is just being clear on that vision. I've always been clear on the vision. As it's got clearer and clearer, everything else just gets clearer, right? For example, the vision now, this is, this is my vision. I'm sitting right in my vision. And I had this so detailed, so written out, so specific to the T, that's exactly what I want. I wanted to be able to overlook my pool, sit there, look at the charts. I'm in Euro Aussie right now, actually. And again, just being flexible with it. I had this visualization that what was more attractive to me was not how can I get the biggest return in the market? It was got nothing to do with that. It was like, how can I make sustainable returns? How can I grow my account? How can I have my freedom so I'm not leveraged by the charts or a slave to certain sessions constantly, checking the charts every other hour and then eventually feeling anxious? Where's the scale in that? You increase Every time that you have to spend more time in front of the charts, you increase the probability of you making mistakes. Why? Because there's more margin for error. We're humans at the end of the day. It's not always everybody's fault. It's not even sometimes the strategy's fault. It's just we are humans and we're not robots. So if you constantly have to make trading decisions all day long, or four or five of them every single day, what's the chances that you make errors? Probably a lot higher than when you have more sustainability. So again, for me, my vision was, how can I create something that's flexible, that I'm not literally glued to the charts all day long? Last week, I didn't take a trade, right? This week I have on Euro Aussie. It's Wednesday now, and it looks like the, mar well, the markets have been flooded with momentum. I was looking at dollar CAD today as well. It's just literally dropped, and there's gonna be opportunities there. But again, just across the board, my vision was clear. That's the point I'm making. I just wanted to be able to sit here. If I wanna make a drink, I'll make a drink. If I wanna journal, I can journal. If I wanna watch um, the racing, the football, sports, whatever it is, while it's on in the background, where I'm just relaxing, I'm taking calls, I'm having meetings from here, and just the atmosphere, that was inspiring to me. So I knew exactly what my why was. So the reason why I'm saying this is because there's going to be lots of moments that happen on your trading career that you get swayed, you get distracted. And when you get distracted normally to the successful people, they can cut through the noise and they realize this is a distraction. And what we do is that we tend to add distractions, it's self-sabotage, it's highly deceptive, and most people don't even realize that it's there. And how do you, you might think, well, how do I even know that? High level of self-awareness, work on your psychology, that is gonna help. However, when you're clear on that, you won't get distracted and you'll realize in those moments, when you are about to fall off track, you remember your why. Why are you doing this in the first place? Who is it for? Is it for your family? Well, then you owe them something. You know, you owe it to yourself. Are you just gonna get lazy and fall off track when you said, and you wrote out, I'm hoping you wrote them out in detail, this is your life. One opportunity, one opportunity. Life can be very cruel at times, and you have one opportunity to make this happen for your life. I don't mean in trading, but you have one life to make this happen. 
And when you really think about that, and that's what I used to do, I used to think, why am I going to waste time? Like, am I going to remember in three years' time all those nights out in the clubs? Or am I now going to actually embrace what I've achieved and realise I've done this for my family? I'm in a great position. I've put myself to be wealthy and not just rich. Wealthy, right? Long-term generational wealth. Take care of my family for the long run. Leave impact in the world and continue to grow. That's being clear on the why. And I honestly believe one of the biggest downfalls of most traders is a lack of clarity. And I don't just mean with strategy. That's normally just smoke and mirrors. Strategy is a strategy. Lots of strategies are effective and they work. But the individual, when that person has a lack of clarity, they, they go into the blame game. There's too many smoke and mirrors in that sense. But when you're clear on the vision, good things just start to happen. So if you can use this video as one thing, it's just a wake up call, get clearer on the vision. I want you coming to the channel because you feel motivated, inspired, you have practical tips, mindset hacks, and you're leaving the channel feeling like, yes, I wanna get on with it. Do you know what? He's right, I have not been clear on my why. I have been lazy. And the reality is, I'm not as serious as what I think I am. And if you want serious results, you need to get serious yourself. Same way of consistency. You want consistent results, yet you're not a consistent person. You cannot receive something that you don't have. You can't instill a quality into somebody that you don't possess yourself. So these things, they're important. They're not always what you wanna hear, but they're important. And I kind of reflected on that today as I was just thinking, wow, like a nice little milestone that we've hit on the channel and there's gonna be many more to come. But the reality is all of that comes from being patient, being persistent, perseverance, doing things when you don't always feel like doing it, but there's a bigger mission and why of the people that you're impacting so many lives, that drives you. So what I want you to think about is take that energy and think about what impact does successful trading do for you, your family, your loved ones, giving them the life that they've never even dreamed of before in your own personal life, your ambitions, and not just that, the side effect and the knock-on effect of what more impact can you do in other industries because of your wealth and what you've achieved. So that to me is what's incredibly exciting about Forex, not just the money that you can make, it goes far beyond that. So I want you to think bigger guys, think bigger, get it down on paper and you'll be surprised at what you can achieve. So once again, guys and girls, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel, sharing it with your friends, the support, the love, we really do appreciate it. And it's a pleasure, it's a pleasure to share this moment with you. There's gonna be many more to come. It's actually Wednesday now, so this is when I break down the markets. It's the midweek market review. It's when I let the guys and girls in the community know what I'm looking at in the markets, opportunities. There are so many right now, so I'm keen to dig into this. We've had a ton of momentum in the markets and just very, very clear opportunities. As you know, it's all about execution. A lot of people can read the charts, but you have to have clear, defined areas of how you're looking to get involved in the market. So for those of you that have strategies right now, make sure that you're very clear. There shouldn't be any ambiguity around how you're gonna be taking these positions. And right now, when there's momentum and it's flowing like this, absolutely love these conditions. So keen to break them down. I'm currently short on Euro Aussie, which is running nicely. And there's, there's been a phenomenal amount, so keen to get into that. But guys, thank you so much. I will catch you in the next episode and let us know your takeaway from this episode and maybe even a video that you've taken value from on the channel from zero to 50K. Anyone that sticks out to you would absolutely love to know. Take care everyone, see you in the next one.